Let's learn how to use code spell checker to catch common spelling errors within the markdown documentation or within the application source code files. Code spell checker works as a VS Code extension, as a command line interface, and it works also as a GitHub action extension. We want a tool to be able to detect the misspelled words and to suggest how to fix it. So there are multiple tools available on the market and one of them that stands out is the code spell checker that is available as an open source project within GitHub. CSpell is also available as an extension within VS Code. So I can go to my VS Code to the extensions section, look for code spell checker, and then I can install it. And with that way, then I'll be able to go to fix errors immediately. So if I switch to the readme.md file here, it will, it, you can see that it detected already some misspelled words. So for this one, important, it should not be written like that. So it will suggest to me a quick fix. So saying this, uh, this should be important with PO. And organizations right here, it lacks the A after the Z. Code spell checker works also as the command line interface, a CLI. So the command line is called C spell. And then we provide the name or the path of the files to be uh, scanned. In this case, let's say that's my readme.md file that contains the documentation for my project. After scanning that file, it will detect the misspelled words the same way as it did within the VS Code extension. And using the command line, I would have some other useful options like here, if I add the dash dash show dash context flag, it will show me the sentence in which the misspelled word was detected. And even better than that, I can ask code spell checker to show some suggestions using the dash dash show suggestions flag right here. So the important keyword will provide here some suggestions to make it correct. Another tool for, or another feature for automation is to just use the dash dash words only to provide only the misspelled words. So this is useful if I want to create another file and output in that file just the misspelled words. So then later I can just use control F, look for the word and just go to fix it immediately. By the way, if you are looking for more resources about automation, Terraform, DevOps, and Kubernetes, I would suggest you take a look at my YouTube videos. So go to choose your favorite topics, watch the video, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Code Spell Checker tool supports also customization. So I can go to create a cspell.config.yaml configuration file and I can specify my own custom configuration. So here I specify a .txt file called project-words and I'll use that, that txt file in order to provide or to put the words to be ignored or any keyword that should be ignored actually. And within this configuration, I can add some other config to ignore some uh, paths, an entire path or an entire uh, file. So this requires creating two files. The cspell.config.yaml should be named exactly this way and the projectwords.txt file within my uh, solution folder. Let's go even one step further for automation and let's use GitHub Actions in order to automate the detection of the misspelled words within my project. So for that, we have a GitHub Action that is called cspell-action that is available on GitHub as an open source project. And we can add it to our GitHub Action or GitHub uh, workflow. So here I would have this uh, job called spell check that will go to use the task C spell action with the version three. This task, the way it's configured, it will need a GitHub token in order to be able to read the source code files. It will need a configuration file that I've already provided in my solution folder. And then we can configure the inline, the checking for the uh, dot files or the dot uh, folders. The strict mode, which says that the uh, task will fail if any 
misconfiguration was detected and the incremental files only to say I want to just scan the files that was changed after a pull request and the verbose mode is disabled here to not show any additional information other than the misspelled or the unknown words. And the last configuration is the most important one which is the files. So this describes the files that will be scanned within my solution or within my uh, source code or my uh, github repository. So here I want to scan any markdown file within all the folders. For that I'm using the double asterisk slash asterisk dot md. So this will tell the task to look recursively inside my uh, folder for any markdown file and scan it. And using the this syntax here it means that we want to ignore all the dist folders and we want to ignore the .ts and the .gs files. So that the end result of running this pipeline will be like this one here. I can see my GitHub action run it and I can see the misspelled words that was detected as part of my GitHub workflow. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.